Welcome back to Superstar Glam. Today's video is on this drugstore versus high-end video. Half of my face is a drugstore and half of my face is high-end. High I put all these products to the test and take a minute. Can you tell me which side is which? I think that everything was really spot on in terms of matching the shades, but I'm interested to know what you think. It was a lot of fun to dig into my collection and pull out all these products that I wanted to put to the test and see how similar they were to each other. I think that um, a lot of these products are very, very similar. Um, so if you are interested, interested to see what products I used to create both sides of the of my face, then just keep watching. I'm gonna take the drugstore side and apply it all on this side and then the high end on this side. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer against the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. These were the best match that I had. They don't necessarily target any skin type or anything. Um, so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild and apply it on this half of my face. It just makes my face feel a little um, moisturized. And I'm going to apply the Smashbox Primer. In terms of um, the primer, they both feel pretty similar they've both been absorbed I kind of feel a slight slight smoothness on the Smashbox primer but other than that it's there's not anything that I can see a difference um, everything looks the same on both sides so it's a toss for the foundation I'm taking the L'Oreal infallible pro matte and the Estee Lauder double wear now the reason why I chose these two is because out of all of my foundations um, I swatched and pretty much these two have the same finish. They're both pretty mattifying, they're both long wearing, and they both have like a similar finish to it. I'm going to use the um, L'Oreal sponge for this side. Okay, and then I'm going to apply the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to apply it on this side with the Beauty Blender. The foundation, I can't tell the difference. I love both these foundations, and so far I can't see a difference. Even the the shade color is the same. The only difference is I did have to go ad with additional product on the L'Oreal side to match the um, coverage on the L'Oreal side, but it's pretty, pretty close. Now, I have seen this floating around as a dupe. It's the Tarte Shape Tape and the, photo fo the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. The shade for the Wet n Wild is Light Ivory. And the side for the Tarte Shape Tape is Light Medium. I can see a slight more coverage on the Tarte Shape Tape than I do on the Wet n Wild. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more to build it up. And I also forgot that I'm going to use the concealer to prime my eyes since I don't have similar products for the eye primer. So I do feel that the Wet n Wild is buildable to the same coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah, I honestly don't see a difference. 
maybe just the shade but the coverage of the concealers they're both really good um, to set that I'm going to take the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder against the Bare Minerals Matte Powder. And I'm just going to use this sponge to apply this with. I'm going to lightly set the rest of my face. Now I'm going to take the Rimmel Powder and set it this side. The next, next step, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette against the Bronzer Palette from e.l.f. This is in, the Bronzer Palette is in a Deep Bronzer. This was the best um, match in terms of like the contour shade that I could find in my collection that was comparable to my higher end um, palettes. So I'm taking the combination of these two shades to contour. Now I'm going to swirl the brush in the color switch. And now I'm going to take these two shades from the Lorac palette very lightly because this palette is so pigmented. I feel like the Lorac side kind of blends a little bit more into my skin and the e.l.f. one kind of leaves me a little bit patchy but it could be that I just didn't really um, set the foundation and maybe that's why I see a little bit of patchiness because I normally don't have a problem with the e.l.f. product but um, hopefully we can fix it with the bronzer. The two bronzers that I have that were very similar in tone that I have in my collection are the Milani Bronzer XL in the shade Fake Tan and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Now I'm going to take the color switch and clean up the brush. And I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Okay, so far I'm preferring this side. There's something about this side that looks a lot more like flawless and like airbrush than this side. I don't know. We'll see. We still have a long way to go. I'm going to go in with highlight. Now out of all my highlights in my collection, the ones that I felt were very similar in terms of formula and even shade were these two. It's the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 001 against the Milani Day Glow strobe light powder in O2. Like they probably on camera don't look similar but they really are similar. And I'm gonna apply the Dior one. So this is the Dior highlight and this is the Milani highlight. Yeah, I actually like them both. Can't pick one over the other. For the blush, the closest I can find was this Becca Mineral Blush in Damselfly and the Elf Blush Palette in Light. What is really similar is this shade right here to this one. I'm going to take this Morphe E4 angled brush. Okay, now I'm going to clean it off in the color switch. Do you see how similar the shades are? 
Okay, it's starting to come together and I honestly can't see a difference. So I would definitely repurchase this e.l.f. bronzer like because it is only six dollars and you get four different shades the becca is like 32 dollars for one little pan so i would save my money and go with the elf one we're gonna go in with a brows the brow gal by tanya crooks it's the convertible powder and pomade duo against the wet and wild ultimate eyebrow kit they're so similar and I'm going to go in with the lighter brown to start filling in. And I'm going to go in with the other powder. The color shade is just so similar that you can't really see a difference. I actually have to build up the color on this side to match the intensity of the Wet n Wild. We're talking about a $4 eyebrow little kit. Comparing it to a, I think this is like a $30 eyebrow product. I would definitely go with the Wet n Wild one um, to set the brows i'm gonna take these two items it's the benefit give me brow and the essence make me a brow um i have the benefit one in the shade three and the essence one is brownie brows so i'm just gonna use this to lightly fill in and set the brows Yeah, for the brows, I would definitely go with this brow all the way. I'm loving this brow. Now, the best part is next, and it's the eyeshadows. And it is the MAC 15 Eyeshadow Warm Neutral Palette against the Wet n Wild Studio Eyeshadow Palette in Coming in Latte. Look how similar these shades are. So that was one palette. But then I recently did a review on this palette. Which is the eyeshadow palette from Collab. And Best of Day. And I realized that it looks so similar to the Renaissance palette. From Anastasia. Tell me that's not similar. And once I swatched them side by side, I realized how extremely similar they were. I'm pretty much going to try to use and incorporate both of these palettes. I'm going to take Burnt Orange from the Anastasia palette and apply that to my crease. Now I'm going to take this shade from the Collab palette. I'm going to clean off my brush and I'll dip into that palette. Okay, I'm going to take this shade Re Real Gar, this one right here. I'm going to lightly apply that over the crease area. I'm going to take this shade. Okay, so far, the collab palette is blending out so much more smoother than the Anastasia one. I don't know if you can tell, there's like a little line that formed, and I'm using the same brush, and this one's just um, blended out smoothly. I'm going to take Love Letter from this palette, I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of the eye and I'm also applying it to the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to clean the brush and take this shade from this palette. Okay, so we finally encountered 
a shade that's not necessarily similar but it's pretty close now i'm going to jump to the other palettes to deepen the outer and inner corner i'm going to take this dark brown shade from the mac palette And then I'm going to do that to the bottom lash line also. Now I'm going to clean this brush. Now I'm going to use the dark brown from the Wet n Wild palette. Okay, I'm going to take this like bronzy shade. And I'm going to apply that to the middle of the eye. I'm actually going to wet this shade for the Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to take this bronzy shade right here. I'm also going to apply it wet. The next products that I have in my collection that again what i did was i swatched all of the items that i have um these were the two that were really really similar and also the intensity of the color so it is the l'oreal voluminous liner noir it's the liquid eyeliner from l'oreal against the kat von d um tattoo liner in shade trooper which i love and i use all the time okay so now i'm going to use the l'oreal on this side okay two of my favorite eyeliners and i actually prefer them both because these are the only eyeliners that i have ever used that actually stay in my waterline and don't um stain my contacts is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes and the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever to tight line. And I'm also going to use this to line the inner bottom waterline. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel one to do the same to this eye. This has been a really popular dupe. Um, I do have a review on this mascara. It's the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And it is a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. They have very similar um, wands. I can tell you now that I prefer the L'Oreal mascara over the Too Faced and it's just my preference. I also, I prefer a lot of um, drugstore mascaras over high end. And then the last thing is lips. It's two lipsticks so I'm not going to pull out a lip liner. The two lipsticks, these have been a duped product like a long time ago, like kind of where when I first started my channel. Um, the first one is the MAC lipstick in Rebel. And the other one is the Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy lipstick. And they both look like this. look how identical that looks okay i'm gonna set my face on this side i'm gonna use the wet and well photo focus setting spray and on the other side i'm gonna use the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray do this side and then this side I'm gonna apply one more shade. Um, I forgot I didn't do the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take the MAC, this like pink shade, and apply it 
right here and then and take the wet and wild pink shade right here and that is it that's this side high end this side drugstore so it's good to see like a side by side of the actual performance of the products that's pretty much it let me know your opinion um, and what you think which side looks best in the comment section below I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye.